All right, moving on to race number seven on the programme, the second last at Happy Valley a Wednesday night. is a class three again, 1,200 metres uh, the trip, headed by Racing Fighter, who's run up behind uh, Mr Croissant last time out. Jing Jing win, a three-time winner over this trip. They've all been at Sha Tin. Harrier Jet runner up behind Endearing last time out. Boy and Boy finished fifth in that race. Mega Heart won over the 1,000 metres uh, here last season. We've got uh, Private Rockets uh, making his Hong Kong debut. He was a winner in the UK on the poly track and split of a second as fourth last time out behind Planet Star. All his wins have come in lower company. Now, as far as Chung Far is concerned, Racing Fighter and Harrier Jet are the horses that have been north in the last 30 days. They have, and Racing Fighter comes back to the valley, done most of his recent racing at Sha Tin. Now, Jin Toki potentially finds the front. Jing Jing Win goes in fresh. Does he race forward or sit in for some cover? Harrier Jet's drawn well. Um, Speedy Luck is an interesting runner because two starts ago, he flogged forward early from a mid-range gate and went to the front. So, again, a tricky speed map. Speaking of tricky, this horse can be tricky <laughs> itself, Jing Jing Win. Uh, he's, uh, he's got his quirks, as we know, this one. But Barrier 6, likely to go forward. I think you'll get his opportunity. David Hall and Joe Marrera teaming up again. Of course, they had a winner of Intrepic on the weekend. Mega Heart moves nicely. He's been working well um, most of the season, the source, actually. Uh, and it's a nice piece. A good run from him two starts ago behind Dream Come True, uh, Mega Heart. And uh, here is Split of a Second. He's going really nicely with some street somewhere. Now, he's closest to us, Split of a Second. He stays in Class 3. He's been placed... Uh, in his last couple of runs here, and he's gone well both times. Yeah, so without winning, he still hasn't disgraced himself. No. And he is a really favourite in actual fact yeah. as well. Split of a second. So, um, let's start off, though, with uh, Racing Fighter at the other end of the scale. Top weight here, and jockey, Zach Purton. Racing Fighter, Zach, can he bring that sort of form to Happy Valley from Shartin? Well, he's, um, he's been quite a disappointing horse, to be honest. Um, now, although he's racing consistently and he's putting some good efforts together. He's just lacking the killer punch. He's had many chances now to put them to the sword and win um, a few of those races and he, he just throws it away. So hopefully Happy Valley with a shorter straight um, allows him to be a bit stronger to the line and can get the job done and instead of giving it up. The blinkers have gone back on at his last couple of starts. Have they helped at all? Well, we thought they would. We thought that's why he was um, a little bit ungenuine, if, if you want to put it that way, in the latter part of his race, but it hasn't made much of a difference at all. He does travel better during the run with them on, so it's a, it's a help in that regard, but he, um, he hasn't got a heart like you have. It's very kind of you. Saturday, good day. Good standing on the Hong Kong Macau Trophy. Overall, you come into the meeting on 118 wins. 136 is what you ended up with last season when you won the championship. Are you aiming to try to better that this season? Yeah, I'm just aiming to try and ride as many winners as I can. Uh, in the position I'm in now, I suppose I'd, I'd be a little bit disappointed if I didn't get to that mark again. I'm hoping to better that. and you know, Obviously, momentum is key. Getting on the right horses uh, is important. And at the end of the day, that'll dictate what number I get to. Yeah, so uh, 18 to go to equal that. I think there's every chance that he will. That's racing fighter, though. We'll see how um, he fares on the night. Harrier Jet, E-Master. And boy, and boy, we'll take a check on now. All chances. Harrier Jet, uh, we heard from Neil Callan a couple of starts ago. And he always said, you know, the closer he can get to the rail, the better it is. He's got a chance of winning. And he went pretty close here from barrier number three. He's got gate one. So I think that's a great chance for him. Boy and boy needs pace. If he gets it, he'll be there late. Yeah, same with the master, doesn't he? He yeah. needs a bit of pace as well. Of the, of the lot, though, I'll put Harry Jet in. Same. I think he'll go. All right. So a couple more to have a look at, including the favourite split of a second. But better choice uh, we'll look at uh, now. We're at Sha Tin, of course. We're going back a few starts, or two starts in actual fact. It was disappointing. I wanted to highlight this horse, Andrew. He has won one race in the past. It was in class four. It was last season. He beat pick number one on the turf. They ran fast time. It's just a win that sticks in my mind. He is a talented galloper. He's had a few setbacks along the way. He went around at 25s here from a low gate. Sorry, um, 6.3 from a low gate and ran a good third. Capable. Capable of running a place and swamping them late, but he's also close to a drop in class. Yeah, barrier 10 put me off. Happy to wait? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, fair enough. All right, he's 26 and 6.2. This is the early favourite in a wider sort of market, though, split of a second. Yeah, this is what I'm going to go with, the split of a second. He's drawn barrier number three. He has drawn low in his last few starts, and he's just failed to, to get up. He's run a couple of, couple of seconds and a fourth as well, all here in Class 3. Uh, so, look, I'm going to stick with him, and I think he'll be uh, he'll go close. Yeah. His low weight. I, um, I'm going to leave him alone this time. I think he might be one that might be better back down in grade. I know he's drawn low and he's got a lightweight and his work's good. He's a chance, but I've, I've shopped around him. All right, there are a few chances here, but it's mm. uh, a bit of a second for you, Paul. Yep, I've got him on top. I just think he's, uh, he's so close to a win now, and I, I'm pretty sure he's up to this Class 3. So, with the lightweight, he's on top to beat Harrier Jet, who's been consistent, ran a nice second at his last start behind in Daring. Uh, Jing Jing wins, got all the ability in the world, but he's a very quirky horse. You've got to get him on the night. And racing fighter, we heard from Zach Purden in there. Just 133 pounds, just put me off on a little bit. 12, 4, 2 and 1. Happy to go the Cornella and Cornella place. Thank you, DJ Paul. 12, 4, 2, <laughs> 1 for me. Um, sorry, they're Paul's numbers. <laughs> Uh, my numbers, uh, 4, 5, 11, 2. Graphics man's a bit slow today. Uh, Harriet Jet on top from the good barrier. Boy and boy, if there's a lot of pace, he'll come into it late, as will better choice. Oh, Jing Jing win. I, I just don't ever know what to do with him. But he's capable, so he's, you know, he's a fourth-line player who could probably win mm. with the right type of run. 4, 5, 11, 2. Yeah, he'll be on the... On the turn, if he lands in that spot where the speed map says turn it for home, he, he could well look like the winner. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Whether Just, he gets there or not is... Yeah. Whether he does it or not is exactly the case. All right, that's uh, race number seven. One more race to go then. Race number eight plus all the best bets. That's up next.